Today's video is not just about mistakes that beginner photographers are making. These are mistakes that 90% of all photographers are making, most likely even you. Mistake number one is telling someone you're about to take their photo. Maybe you're a little uncomfortable or unsure about taking their photo, so you ask if it's okay, but you're actually taking all of the life out of your image. So imagine you're at dinner with someone eating spaghetti when they take way too big of a bite. If you were to turn and snap a photo in that exact moment, that memory would have been immortalized forever and what you'd end up with is a really natural and authentic photograph. Versus, hey, can I take your photo? Mm -hmm. Even if they say yes, they're gonna fix their posture, finish their bite, and try to look as attractive as possible. And what you end up with is a basic photo that celebrates and represents nothing. Remember, photography is not just taking someone's photo, but you're actually stealing a moment from time. So stop asking permission. What's the worst that happened? They say, Can you delete that? Sure, I can delete that. He's not deleting it. I'm not deleting it. The second mistake is editing every photo differently and not actually making presets from your best edits. This can be a problem because it'll keep you from developing a recognizable style as a photographer. Imagine you're in a photo gallery. Your goal is to make all of your photos look like a cohesive series, not like individual photos taken by different people. So the next time that you strike gold on an edit, go up to the develop tab and click new preset and build yourself your first preset and see if it works on your photo the next time you import it. And then one day you can sell them and make a ton of money. Mistake number three is taking too many photos without changing what you're doing, AKA photo fishing. Not only are you wasting your time taking the same photo over and over again, but you're actually robbing yourself of finding what could be an even better image. Once you capture the photo in front of you and confirm it's in focus, either change your angle of shooting or instruct your subject to do a different pose or action. And this can lead to you actually discovering the photo that you didn't know you were trying to capture. It's what I do. It's what he does. And he's a cock. Mistake number four is thinking that you always need to travel somewhere special for interesting photos. Photography is about making ordinary objects look interesting. So getting in your car and driving to the Grand Canyon could be considered a cheap excuse for creativity. But if you truly want to get better at photography, it's important to master taking creative photos no matter where you are. Next time you're bored, try to find interesting framings in your own home or yard. Look around you and find ways to create interesting images out of nothing. Shoot through things, use props, and do absolutely anything to create an interesting frame. The fifth mistake is constantly taking the obvious shot. Yeah, that works. The obvious shot is seeing something with your eyes and then just lifting the camera and snapping a photo of that shot. Now, most people don't see a problem in taking a photo they might not post, but you're actually training yourself to become a lazy photographer. Every person who has ever been where you're standing has probably taken that exact same photo. So how do you expect to stand out? The solution is don't even allow yourself to take the obvious photo in the first place. Train yourself to look around and find shots that others might have missed. Play with foreground elements and angles, but never settle for what's directly in front of you. Mistake number six is not actually saving your raw files. So let's say you go on vacation and take a bunch of photos of yourself and your partner. You edit them to the best of your ability at the time, but you use too much saturation and contrast because it looks good on Instagram. But one day, if you go to print that image for your living room, you might realize that it looks horrible on paper. Well, unless you've saved your raw files, that moment is gonna be gone forever. Every time you export an edited photo, save the original raw photo right along with it. Not only does this give you security, but it also gives you the possibility to change or even improve edits in the future. The seventh mistake is shooting in JPEG when you intended to shoot in RAW. This is a problem because you lose all ability to manipulate the image in editing. Not to mention, you spent a lot of money on your expensive camera, and now you're basically shooting on a crappy phone anyway. So right now, grab your camera, open your menu, and let's just check together that we are in fact shooting in RAW. If we are, kudos. And if we're not, we're gonna go ahead and change that and not tell anybody because we just saved ourselves from making the biggest mistake in photography. Mistake number eight is the most common mistake in all of photography, and that is up. <laughs> <laughs> mistake number eight is the most common mistake in all of photography, and that's objects growing out of your subject's head. 
Whether it's a building, a tree, or a bush, it's distracting and it should not be there. So simply just move your subject a step to the left or right and avoid making one of the biggest mistakes in photography. So now that you've made it this far into the video, the next thing you need to learn to master is editing in Lightroom. And I've actually made a Lightroom Basics tutorial that'll have you up in editing in less than 10 minutes. So if that's you, if you're a photographer trying to learn how to edit, go ahead and click this one next.